The NetApp HCI pre-deployment profile helps you run pre-installation checks on an existing network, including switch and vCenter components. You can run the pre-installation checks for vCenter, Mellanox switches, and Cisco Nexus switches. Let's see the different devices that we need access to in order to make validation checks for pre-installation validation. Select Solution-Based Profile from the Collection Type drop-down list. Select NetApp HCI Pre-Deployment from the Profile drop-down list. You should only enter vCenter server information if you are planning on utilizing an existing vCenter server with your NetApp HCI deployment. If you are planning to create a new vCenter server for NetApp HCI, and if you have reserved a fully qualified domain name, then enter information in the vCenter server FQDN field at the end of this form. This is to validate that the domain name is resolvable and it is not already in use. Both collection and validation are supported on Cisco and Mellanox switches. You could choose the number of devices that you want to add to data collection and under switch validation settings so that you can select some of the switches for your HCI configuration. You should choose the number of compute nodes and number of storage nodes that you are planning. You can use this option to run basic checks like the port speed with VLANs is configured appropriately for the storage vMotion ports, checking jumbo frame settings, and other similar checks. Make sure that the number of ports you made matches the size of the deployment. For example, you are using two compute nodes and two cable configuration. You need two by two ports, which are four ports. So here, let's enter two in the number of compute nodes and number of storage nodes fields. You have the option to choose between two cable configuration or a six cable configuration. The two cable configuration is a shared network where all the traffic passes through the same switch. You have a six cable configuration which gives you an option to separate the management network storage and vMotion networks. Under storage node network, you can enter the management network ports and storage network ports used specifically for the storage node network. These are just examples of how you need to enter the information. The credentials entered are used to run read-only data collection and not to configure or alter the environment in any way. Let's enter individual switch ports and any VLAN tags you plan to use for the management and storage networks for any switches in the storage node network. You can click the check marks. You can see some information about the model and if that doesn't populate or displays error, it means the credentials provided were incorrect. This is how you should enter the ports, in a comma-separated format in the form. The VLANs that should be allowed have to be entered in this form so that both the range format as well as the comma-separated VLAN list get accepted. If you are not using any VLAN for a management network, skip that field. In the Network Settings Check section, enter the IP addresses and gateway IP addresses for the management network, followed by lists of servers for DNS, NTP, and vCenter server if you are deploying a new vCenter server with NetApp HCI. Click Save and Collect. Now provide a project name that you can reference later. You can also schedule this validation to check multiple times. Click Save if you want to save any information. Click Save and Collect to start the validation. This starts the collection process. You can see the progress as the collection runs along with a real-time log of the collection commands. Click the Expand button to view more specifically what commands are being executed on the target systems. Click View and Analyze. This page shows a general health report of your environment. Device Detail Summary provides information about the devices that were added for collection with the vCenter server, Cisco switches, model, OS, or firmware version. Health Report Widget shows 12 high-impact issues, 2 medium-impact issues, and 16 checks have passed. You can select a section of the pie chart to see more details about those specific checks or descriptions of problems, along with recommendations on resolving any issues that might interfere with successful deployment. You can resolve these issues yourself or request help from NetApp Professional Services. Click Export to export the collection report as PDF, Microsoft Word, or Excel format. The report output includes the switch configuration information for your deployment. 
which NetApp Professional Services uses to verify the network settings. Send the exported report file to your NetApp Professional Services representative. You have an option to customize the report when you export it. Click Customize. If the system summary is selected, the switch configuration is included as part of the report. You can clear the checkbox if you do not want any particular selection to be included in the report. By default, only the failed checks are included in the report. This report has a lot of information, and it will tell you the number of checks that were run, failed, and passed. You will also find information on switch configuration, so that you can reference the switch configuration, raw output, and perform some manual checks. A list of occupied and free management network IP addresses is provided for your reference. 